What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and 2K finally dropped the trailer for Park so today we're gonna watch that, react to it, and I'll show you guys all the little details so let's get right into it. Okay so the parks do look the same, um, it looks like 2K has seasons in the game, there are birds in the park, I don't think that'll be in the actual game. Okay they have the wall of fame, um, they have core conqueror back in the game. They have beats back in the game, they have cages back in the game, practice facility, backpacks, two people on a bike, they have, looks like a new park, racing in the background, they have skateboards, they have tricycles, gold rush is back, they have frisbee golf in the game, there's big top challenge, these people have bobbleheads, there are mascots, there's dodgeball in a themed park it looks like. There's rep back in the game, yeah, my rep progression. Rep animations look much better. They have 3v3 Pro-Am in the game, I feel like that's gonna be really fun. They have pirate themed parks. They have Egyptian themed parks. Um, what else, fireworks. I don't know what that's supposed to be. They have Halloween themed parks, they got scarecrows. Uh, winter themed parks, it looks like, yeah, snowmen. Alan Iverson statue, Christmas trees, they got snow in the parks, okay. That was pretty dope. So now getting into the smaller details, in this screenshot you can see there's a Pro-Am playground in the back, I'm guessing that's the 3v3 Pro-Am. Um, I think it's matchmaking, but I'm not 100% sure. Then there's anti-up or stage, whatever you want to call it in the background. In this screenshot you can see they added back wheels, it just says bike and skate shop. So I'm pretty sure they do sell the same exact vehicles, except they added a tricycle and a two-person bike. You can see there are two restaurants, there's an Italian food center and some other restaurant. And you can see all the way to the right they did add swags back into the game. They do have Core Conquer back in the game which I really like because it's a really easy way to get rep and VC. And right here they have a ramen noodle shop. It looks like a diner, it looks like that diner that was in the My Career trailer. So I'm not sure if this is actually in the park. I'm guessing it is because it's a My Park trailer but I really don't know. I'm guessing this is somewhere hidden in the park, maybe in one of the back alleys or something like that. But they do have a shop. I have no idea if you can go inside it. I really hope so, that would be kinda dope. But I guess we'll see once the game drops. Here we do have the Beats event back and it looks much cleaner than in NBA 2K19. So in NBA 2K19, I played this event a lot just for rep, but it wasn't that great, it was a little too dark. But here it does look a lot brighter and you still get to wear glow-in-the-dark clothes. In the back of the park you can see swags back there. You can see a store that says NBA 2K20, that's what it looks like, unless that's just one of the billboards for the trailer. And all the way to the right, you can see there's something that says 2K. I'm not sure what it says under that. I guess we'll also see about that once the game drops. And you can see even more to the right, there is the Pro-Am building. It looks like the building for King of the Court, so I'm guessing it is matchmaking. From this screenshot, you can see they added cages back in the game. It looks the exact same, except I think the color of the trampolines were orange in 2K19. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look the exact same other than that. This screenshot right here is dope, because we know that they did add backpacks into the game, and this looks like some sort of designer backpack. About a month or two ago, 2K dropped an announcement that they were collabing with a bunch of designer brands that were going to be in NBA 2K, so I'm guessing this here is one of them. And also, that means there are probably some designer shirts, designer pants, designer shoes, stuff like that. Next up, we got the two-person bike. I have no idea how this is going to work. It's going to be kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. We do have swags in the background. Also, there is the My Team building. Here's the park they have. This one is a racing event, I'm guessing. Something that has to do with NASCAR, maybe. I don't really know, but in the background there is the Jordan Rec Center, and on the billboard on the top of the screen it says October 22nd or 23rd, I can't really tell, and it says we got this, so I'm guessing there's a limited item where you can only buy it on a certain day. I have no idea how that works, I guess we'll have to see. And in this screenshot there's the Gatorade training facility in the back, and over here on the right side of the screen there is some sort of leaderboard, so this for sure is an event. And here in this screenshot, it does say Formula 2K. I'm guessing that's what the event is called. And I actually missed this when I was watching the trailer, but there is actually Ruffles back in the game. You can see it says Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. There's a picture of Ruffles. So they did add Ruffles back in the game. Hopefully they have the event a lot more frequently than they did in NBA 2K19. Right here, they do actually have the barbershop and the buildings do look the same, except they are remodeled a little bit. I don't think the barbershop and the tattoo shop and the building for them 
was this color i don't really remember but yeah the parks are the same but they're a little bit differently remodeled they do have mascots back in the game here it does say circus here it says let's see big top challenge so i'm guessing that's an event as well of course they have skateboards back in the game and in this screenshot you can see here's the tricycle and here's this building that says 2k in the back so this screenshot is pretty blurry but it says 2k something it looks like the Foot Locker building, so I'm guessing they replaced Foot Locker. Maybe they don't have the rights to put Foot Locker in the game or something like that. So it looks like Foot Locker is not going to be in the game this year. I may be wrong, but that's what it looks like by the looks of this screenshot. They did add Gold Rush into the game. Hopefully, it does not have a bunch of delayers this year because last year Gold Rush was basically unplayable. They did add Frisbee Golf into the game. I'm guessing that's one of the events like Dodgeball, Red Ball, Blue Ball, something like that, where you do get a little bit of VC if you win. Okay, so here is the big top challenge. I don't really know what it is, but it's a circus type event, I believe, where everybody is either a mascot or they have a bobblehead. And in the back here, you can see this Foot Locker building is actually 2K shoes. So yeah, it looks like Foot Locker is not going to be in the game anymore unless they move the location of it. And they do have the Pro-Am building right here. So the Big Top Challenge actually is an event, which means they either have two events at the same time or the Pro-Am building is always there, which I hope is the case because... Pro-Am is fun, 3v3 is fun, and I hope they can make a combination of those two really good, because that would be a great game mode. So this is a little weird, so if you look at this screenshot right here in the big top challenge, you can see the courts look pretty normal, but then if you fast forward a little bit, you can see right here, it does say the cages in the background, you can see mascots, and there is a trampoline, this yellow Pacers mascot is jumping on the trampoline, so I'm not sure if there's the big top challenge and then cages, or if it is cages. Or maybe some parts of it are cages, some aren't. I really don't know. So here is actually the dodgeball event. They do have it in a Wild West type theme. And by the looks of this screenshot, it looks like there is some type of power up in dodgeball. This is a lightning power up. I'm guessing it either makes you run faster or throw faster. And here we got the rep system. So this guy is, I'm guessing that's a Pro 2. And if I click play, you're going to see he does rep up to a Pro 3. And here's the my rep progression. So it starts at rookie. There's rookie 1 through 3. Pro 1 through 3, All Star 1 through 3, Superstar 1 through 3. And right here, there is Elite 1 through 3. So you can see at Elite 1, you unlock something related to the 2K shoes. You get Tier 5 emotes. And I'm guessing you get another My Court, maybe like NBA 2K 16 and 17. Once you hit Elite 2, you get something here. I can't really tell what it is. You get to create your own t shirts like NBA 2K 18. And then you do get double the VC. And at Elite 3, you get something here. It's called something off. I don't know what that is. You get suits and you get mascots at Elite 3. I'm guessing after Elite 3, there is Legend, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And you can see right here that the rep up animation does actually look a lot better. So next, we do have Pro-Am 3v3s. I hope this is sort of like the big three league where it's basically 3v3 and you have to go up to a certain number of points or there's a timer or something. I hope it's something like that instead of just like normal 3v3 matchmaking. I think these pirate themed parks actually do look pretty dope. They also do have pirate attire, so they have an eye patch uh, that might be a pirate shirt, I can't really tell. And they do have a scroll, I'm not sure if you could actually use that in the game, maybe that's just for the trailer, I really don't know. Next we have some Egyptian themed parks, and if I fast forward a little bit, there's something that says basketball gods, so I'm guessing that's what the event is with the Egyptian parks. They do have fireworks, hopefully they use that for a July 4th event or a new year's event something like that and i have no idea what this part of the trailer is supposed to be there's like some sort of gas radiation something like that i have no idea right here they have the halloween event so they have a witch right here going along a string they have some jack-o-lanterns they have scarecrows they have seasonal weather changes next for the winter event there is a snowman the Allen iverson statue is frozen they have presents by a christmas tree Here's a Christmas tree, and as you can see here, they have snow on top of these bushes, they have snow on the walkways, so they finally added snow in the parks. We've been asking for that for two or three years now, maybe even four years, honestly. I think it's been since 2K16 or 17 since we've been asking for snow in parks, so finally they gave it to us. And that's going to be it for the trailer, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Leave any comments down below if there's anything that you think I missed, or if you have questions on anything. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.